was on my mind for years to do this project at Dalic. I just didn't know how to approach Dalic or how even to begin such a conversation. I always was fascinated by this gallery, which I adore. I think it is everything what art is about. What I really wanted to do was to link Dalic to Warsaw, to, to create a, a work which, which is a, a conceptual, invisible bridge between those places. I decided to invert the whole concept and put the painting, so painted panel, on the outside. I was thinking that probably birds will poo on it here and there. And I was thinking how this light pigment will, you see, you have to take all this into consideration, like thinking, hmm, how is it going to look? And <laughs> shall I incorporate it into this work or not? Inside the gallery, I, I'm going to do just a linear work, just a wall the drawing, which is on the wall. On, it, it, it is then part of architecture. And the outside panel uh, is going to be painted with uh, pigments which dynamically respond to light. It's a light-sensitive installation. It's like an emotional photography. Lovely pigments. I, I'm fascinated by, by colors and, and by pigments. I am very sensitive to, to color. If there is a wrong color around me, I, I feel physical pain. It is all to do with light, because painting for me is about uh, light. It's, it's, uh, light is the prime subject. The second part of the exhibition is in Warsaw at the Royal Castle in this very large space and it's going to be architectonic installation in a different kind of way because I have to build walls there. At Dalic I'm interacting with the existing architectural structure. There I am in a sense building a structure. This concept is driving me to do this. Otherwise I, I don't think I would because physically this is such a huge effort. I mean, painting this is, is already uh, extremely uh, difficult, but it's nothing uh, by comparison to doing this, this huge thing in Warsaw, or even the wall drawing at Dalic is, is something so terrifying. It's terrifying. It's like, you know, it's, it's like, Somebody would say to, to a singer, well, here you are, this is the Covent Garden, this is your stage, and uh, please, bel canto, now. In this exhibition, Anthony's trying to create a 4D experience. Um, there'll be three main elements, which will be this internal piece, an external painting, which will be positioned in the blind arch on the front of the building but there'll also be a dance performance, one at the opening, and four more on the weekends following the opening. In order to do this kind of work uh, in, say, a couple of weeks, I have to use some sort of line, some sort of lines which I can pin very quickly uh, to the wall. I found material some time ago, um, a kind of, well, it's a card which is uh, soaked with uh, bitumen. I can cut it and I can also tear it. So I can get variety of, of lines and, and edges. And then I choose the appropriate bits of my <laughs> material, if you like. Uh, and and pin it with blue tack. Once I'm satisfied with, with all the movements and the positioning, then I will remove the blue tack and glue those pieces flat on, on the wall. From a distance, it 
may look as if it is sort of gouged out even because of the, of the rough edges and yet when you come close it's the reverse. It's a sort of choreography basically, that's what it is. So it's like catching the right movements. It is a, a, a similar process um, which my friend choreographer Yongmin Cho is going to, to use in creating a dance performance. Cut, 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 And out the space. It's been really interesting, actually. Uh, it's quite interesting with the language barrier also, because Min's obviously speaking in English, but his first language is Korean, and everybody's interpreting his tasks in a slightly different way. Look at your eyes every time your fingers wear go. They have a different nationality and a different background, different experience about dance. So we are multicultures. We make harmony, make sometimes one direction, and sometimes we are going to divide the tree. I don't know if it's anything to do with nationality, but all of the four dancers we picked are just completely different in the way that we move, which is really interesting they will, in a sense, start from looking at this drawing and imagining certain movements and certain dynamics which are here and then taking them to dance. I found it quite challenging to interpret something static into movement. Um, but Min's been really good at kind of giving us tasks to be able to create work around it that aren't necessarily directly related. It's not like, look at this, make a dance move out of it. I guess it's going to be quite a challenge. Exciting. <laughs> Working at Dalich Picture Gallery uh, in proximity of all those historical paintings, uh, there is that weight of history. Anthony has expressed, you know, when he was in the gallery on his own, that you know he feels like the portraits are looking in, they're interested, and I think that kind of that dynamic, that tension, works really well. I was on the scaffolding there on Monday, and I, I really felt that they are looking at me from their portraits, and and that they were smiling. So I, I hope they like it. It's, it's going to bring a, a new audience as well to the gallery. People that enjoy Anthony's work, people that enjoy architectural works contemporary art. It's, it's something a bit different. It's what's nice about working at Dulwich. <laughs> when the public um, comes to see this exhibition, I, it is about experiencing an environment. Many threads are woven here uh, in order to create something really uh, quite special. It is like a, a living work of art. <laughs>